गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मॉलिकुलर मिस्ट्रीज होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग फाइन आउट देयर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट इन टू द क्लास गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप एवरी वन इज लाइकिंग माई चैनल होप यू आर फॉलोइंग द क्लासेस रेगुलरली फ्रीक्वेंटली एंड I think you are you are enjoying the classes as well. So, uh, in the last class, we have already discussed all important things that happen during the cell division, uh, mainly the mitosis, meiosis, how many haploid cells are present, like the terminology regarding the cell biology, right? And in this uh, class, I want to talk to you about the karyotyping, because so you already know that. uh there are 46 chromosomes like 23 pairs of chromosomes present per cell in humans like humans are diploid because they have two n number of chromosomes each chromosome having two pairs like two sets of each chromosome right so today i want to talk to you about or i want to show you uh, the importance of the karyotyping why karyotyping is often used for the uh, detection of your number of chromosomes that have been separated how many uh, like uh, how many chromosomes are there what are the types of chromosomes and how can you you know judge the sex of a chromosome like judge a person based on is it an xx or is it an xy okay so without any further confusion let's get into the class okay so now so you know that humans are diploid right they have two a number of chromosomes right so like 23 pairs 23 different types of chromosomes right having two sets that's why they are called two sets uh, two n okay now i want to tell you let me write and how the progeny are formed like how the um, daughter cells and and uh, are formed here based on your phenotypic and genotypic expression so and in the next in the coming classes i want to talk to you about the molecular genetics where you come across the phenotypic expression and the genotypic expression like what is phenotype the physical appearance of a person like is it a boy or is it a girl is it a male or like female and what are the uh, external secondary uh, sexual characters and what are the primary sexual characters these all come under the phenotypic expression and you go for the genotype where the genetic makeup of an individual is what you call the genotype where you will uh, uh, do it in the chromosomal level so for example see this is your this is your female and this is your male so for the you know that autosomes are there and these are your allosomes so this is your genetic i can say this is a genotype the chromosomal level of your chromosomes and this is your phenotype which is a physical appearance right okay so when they undergo the fertilization the gametes that are produced from females are 22x because they have x chromosomes two copies like the genes that are present on the x chromosome are two copies but for male we have two types of gametes coming one is this one and the other is this one so the y chromosome is the deciding factor for the male so in the coming classes i also want to discuss about what are the characters that are linked with x linked characters like for example the genetics okay in the coming classes i really want to discuss about what are what is sex differentiation what is sex inheritance okay and what are the genes that are expressed in dominant condition recessive condition i will all explain in the coming classes okay these are all also important for your understanding okay so now see i am telling you what here is the gene the gametes that are formed from female are only one type because only have two copies of x chromosome and here you have two different gametes coming one is 22 xx and 22 y so when these two fuse this leads to the formation of 
है फीमेल और आई कैन से गर्ल ओके एंड इफ दिस टू फ्यूज सो दिस इज ए मेल और ए बॉय सो द डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर इज द वाई क्रोमोजोम इन ह्यूमन्स ओके सो हियर वॉट्स हैपनिंग देर इज ए करेक्ट डिविजन ऑफ द गैमेट्स लाइक यू आर गेटिंग द करेक्ट अप्रोप्रिएट इट्स करेक्ट हैपनिंग दैट हैपन्स इन नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल ओके बट देर आर सम एबनॉर्मैलिटीज दैट हैपन इन द क्रोमोजोमल लेवल विच लीड्स टू डिफरेंट सिंड्रोम्स वी कैन इवन इन ईजीली फाइंड आउट ड्यूरिंग प्रेग्नेंसी ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी टेस्ट अवेलेबल राइट नाउ ओके दे विल they check your amniotic fluid or check in the uh, they can check the blood level and they can go for further karyotyping tests which would help you to detect any syndromes that that are present in the kids at the early level itself okay so as of now now please remember that this is how the kids are born like how uh, you know the correct uh, uh, division of your chromosomes would happen how the exact 46 chromosomes and how 23 chromosomes are formed and how the fusion happens that is how your complete female and male is made this does not happen in all the time and there are many abnormalities that would happen so let's talk about the abnormalities in this class because karyotyping is mainly based on it okay see what is karyotyping so karyotyping is a test to identify and evaluate the size shape and number of chromosomes in the shape of a body cells like the typical expression so if you can can see in detail see these are the 23 types of chromosomes these are all the male chromosomes okay if you see they are all coming decrease in their length so all the chromosomes are are decreasing in their length and that is how the karyotype is made okay okay this is computerized action okay if you take a sample of blood and if you go for uh, a, a karyotype mechan mechanism attached with the computer it helps you to give this form of format where you can get the exact uh, uh, correct form of your uh, genotypic expression okay and say this is the from 1 to 22 you can see there's a decrease in the size of the chromosomes and this is the normal level that happens in the in the male you can see the xy chromosome y, y being a small one and x being a bigger one so these are all the autosomes 22 are the autosomes and these are the allosomes in the same way if you go for the female part it doesn't have any y chromosome and you have xx so so these are all the autosomes so this is how a karyotype is is an example for the human normal humans this is okay so these are the metaphase chromosomes have been identified of mitosis in human male and female okay so these are all the homologous pair i told you what are homologous pair okay so these are all the homologous pairs so this is the normal structure normal form of your male and female so karyotyping what does that mean so chromosomal labeling let's talk about the chromosomal labeling so you know that chromosome has got two types of arms p arm and a q arm so for example if you have given like 1 q 2 4 what does that mean one is the first chromosome like every chromosome is represented in this form like uh, what does that uh, uh, see i told you 1 to 22 are the numbers of the chromosomes like autosomes and allosomes so how and x and y you will separate it mention it separately right so so each arm is divided into sub regions you have p and q arms and each arm is again divided into sub regions and identify with a number and each sub region has got a bands that is how you label it right see for example if you take off for 1q 2.4 what does that mean one is the first chromosome q is the longer arm of chromosome two is the sub region to which the fourth band is you are talking about that is how they say that is how the chromosome is labeled okay for your understanding i have just given you an example okay so how can you you know uh, understand the process of karyotyping so first for the karyotype to detect the karyotype should be having a rapidly dividing cells you know the mitosis uh, is a rapid uh, division of cells for the metaphase condition to observe it, it should be uh, the metaphase should be viable for the observation during karyotype right so tumor cells you know they have a multiple amount of uh, multiplying the cells when the lymphocytes t lymphocytes b lymphocytes this will discuss in the immunology class okay skin cells amniotic cells these are the sample cells where they have rapid division of your cells because of which we can get the metaphase arrested right so uh, the tissue cells are can also be taken for the karyotyping study those tissues like uh, which are undergoing lab condition in vitro conditions are the lab conditions so in vitro conditions where you are providing the artificial atmosphere for the cells to 
multiply by itself so that is why the tissue is particular tissue is taken and should be given with the proper nutrition so that it would start multiplying and the in vitro conditions so so that we can take that particular part and arrest that particular metaphase by adding some chemicals like colchicine which would arrest the cells at metaphase condition okay so now uh, what is how the pro process happens let's see so i told you the cells that are to be taken which are multiplied are to be taken under uh, lab conditions and they are to culture right the culture cells are then added with colchicin colchicin helps you to you know it would uh, arrest the cells at the metaphase stage for easy understanding of your chromosomal structure and number right so this cell suspension then you will go for your uh, centrifugation centrifugation will be getting a pellet at the bottom and the supernatant at the top just remove the supernatant and you will get the pellet that pellet is to be again you know uh, it should be added with uh, some hypotonic sal solutions that would help you to you know uh, 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 you can make it ready for your smear preparation right so this would uh, this will help you to form the cells that are under metaphase condition when you observe under microscope uh, added with a computer we can get the perfect karyotype of your particular blood sample okay that is how the karyotype is made now this class i want to really concentrate is about that what are the types of chromosomal abnormalities like you happen to hear about down syndrome turner syndrome klein filter syndrome patau syndrome edward syndrome what are these and why is it like why is it called the chromosomal abnormalities because the chromosomal number is not proper in them like it's not like 46 everyone should have 46 for their normal human being but it is not happening in these cases okay so let's now discuss about what the chromosomal abnormalities so till now you are have idea about what is phenotype what is genotype so chromosomal abnormalities can be detected by karyotyping abnormalities mainly happen due to change in phenotype i told you in the external appearance and although in the genotypic experience uh, 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 you will have changes okay so phenotypically like uh, uh, when while observing you can see they are girls like they look like girls but they doesn't have any proper uterus formation and all so that is how abnormalities would look like okay so now let's discuss all the different type of abnormalities and where does that abnormality came from like which chromosome is uh, important like uh, defected what is the def which number of chromosome is the defect is it an extra chromosome or uh, losing an extra losing an original chromosome okay let's see it so abnormalities are maybe due to the presence of extra chromosome i told you it's a missing chromosome right so abnormalities can be due to translocation what is translocation in between the homologous pair itself like if you say in between the autosomes of the same cell the genes of one autosomal chromosome is transferred or translocated to the other part of the other chromosome of the same cell that is what you call translocation this translocation would also lead to many cancerous cells formation okay i will also tell in the class itself so inversion deletion and duplication this i will also add the detailed discussions in the description box please go through it okay so what is chronic myeloid leukemia so leukemia you know it's a blood cancer right so leukemia is mainly due to the increase of your white blood cells right so this we can uh, discuss leukemia and the blood platelets and blood cells in the coming classes also okay so the chronic myeloid leukemia happens due to the translocation of genes from chromosome 9 to 22nd so i told you uh, i have given you the structure of the karyotyping structure where the 9th chromosome is in a present is in a bigger uh, structure than the 22nd chromosome right so the translocation happens so that the gene that is responsible for the chronic myeloid leukemia is abels and murin leukemia oncogen oncogens are the cancerous gene those genes are happening due to the chromosomal transfer from 9q34 see i told you that it's a ninth chromosome and q is the long arm and 34 is the band of your sub region right and that is happening and to it is changing to the 22nd chromosome long arm and the 11th band that is how you read the chromosome okay so that is how the transfer has happened that is so nothing but a translocation so in uh, in short i can say you this chronic myeloid leukemia is mainly to the translocation from 9th to 22nd chromosome just plus remember because they may ask you in this sort of questions and exam also okay and now what comes a syndrome called down syndrome this you happen to hear lot many times in the classes like so down syndrome is nothing but the trisomy of chromosome what does trisomy and monosomy means see what are the what are the symptoms of down syndrome they have the flattened skull they have protruding and furrowed tongue they have the retarded growth and mental development 
and they are fertile yes see uh, fertility comes fertility is mainly mainly decided by the allosomes not the autosome you know that autosomes are the somatic vegetative cells or vegetative chromosomes right but the sex of a person is mainly de determined by the allosomes right either it could be xx or xx xy right but here they told you the chromosome 21 happening 21 is an autosome right so for autosome uh, there is no relation for that for the fertility that is why the people with down syndrome are all still fertile the people with down syndrome are still fertile because allosomes are fine with them but the autosomes are not fine with them okay that is how the trisomy happens what is trisomy see you should have a homologous pair for each and every chromosome in your cell right for the cell division to happen and for the gametes formation whatever it is you should have a homologous pair but trisomy is a presence of three chromosomes at what particular location instead of having two you have an extra chromosome called trisomy that is why down syndrome is mainly due to trisomy of your chromosome 21 okay please remember and you have these are the features and they have the fertility because it is an autosomal chromosome so let's go for the turner syndrome so turner syndrome is the absence of chromosome in 23rd pair so when i am talking about the 23rd pair this decides the sex of the person right so turner syndrome uh, because of the absence of this x chromosome you know see let me draw you uh, in detail yes please excuse me with the noises okay see for example 45 46 number of chromosomes is what is a normal right so it should be 44 xx or 44 xy it's a me it's a female it's a male right but for turner syndrome if i am talking about the second chromosome called x is absent there is no second x chromosome so due to which the karyotype of turner syndrome is for 45 instead of 46 that means you have 44 x o what does that mean there is no x chromosome here right so they doesn't have x or they doesn't even have y so nothing is there the absence of your uh, x chromosome is what you call the turner syndrome right so if you go through it what is turner syndrome i told you this is how it looks like okay the other abnormal the affected individuals have female external genitalia and internal ducts present but they are rudimentary why because they already have x chromosome x chromosome decides the femaleness right so if x chromosome extra x chromosome is present they, they come under females but absence of the x chromosome are making them rudimentary right so the other copy of x chromosome or the second chromosome is completely absent in these people and that is why though the ducts are present though the external genitalia are present ovaries are present they are all rudimentary they are not functional okay so that is why they are sterile okay because the change or the abnormalities in allosomal chromosomes not the autosomal chromosomes okay but change is in the 23rd pair right so the what are the abnormalities of this are the short stretcher a webbed neck broad shield like chest they uh, look like girls but they doesn't have any uh, girlish characters like or uh, well developed uterus well developed internal genital ducts and all right so this is a turner syndrome that is due to the 23rd pair monosomy why is it called monosomy because you have only one x chromosome it's a room uh, it's a absence of your second chromosome that is what is called monosomy so down syndrome you told you it's a trisomy because you have three instead of two extra but in turner syndrome you have 
uh, one uh, negative like you, uh, instead of having one you have uh, you lose that like uh, the abnormality is because the chromosome is lost that's why they are ending up having 45 only instead of 46 so hope i'm clear with this okay no confusions so what are bar bodies so you know that uh, bar bodies are something i can say in short they are the inactive x chromosomes the condensed part of your x chromosome is what you call a bar body so uh, these bar bodies are mainly present in the female mammal cells only they, they didn't see any bar bodies in male baboon cells see here uh, we can calculate the bar uh, bar bodies also how number of chromosomes minus one number of x chromosomes minus one i told you here there is only one x chromosome so they are negative for bar body okay and females like us if you take an example we are having xs like 44 xx so number of bar bodies for one female cell is one because you have two x chromosomes number of x chromosomes minus one so you have two minus one only one bar body per cell for females normal females but for turner syndrome because of the absence of your x chromosome you are negative for the bar bodies okay next go for klein filter syndrome what are klein filter syndrome so here you can observe it so i can draw better so now let's talk about klein filters what is klein filter syndrome that is the cardiotype is here is 47 I told you how because 46 is the normal thing but what happens in Klein filter syndrome so they can they will have this is the karyotype this is not functional right the number is ending up with 47 instead of 46 and you have a Y chromosome what does that mean the persons whoever is having a Y chromosome they show masculinity male sexual male uh, characters testes everything but they are all non-functional though everything is present right they uh, the secondary sexual characters like beard uh, uh, type of voice okay the it's a harsh voice i can say okay harsh voice hoarseness on the voice right then the correct term is hoarseness so the voice hoarseness and their stature their um, masculinity everything comes under the y chromosome right presence of the y chromosome give you those characters so in this klein filter syndrome people having the syndrome will exhibit all these characters but they are all non-functional because you know there is an extra chromosome of x present right due to which they are rudimentary they all the testes all the male characters are completely suppressed right and again they are positive for the bar body because they have two x chromosomes and x chromosomes minus one is nothing but the bar body bar bodies are nothing but number of x chromosomes minus one so you have two x chromosomes in client filters so they are positive for bond they have one bar body and these doesn't have any bar bodies because only one chromosome so no bar bodies bodies in turner syndrome so that is how you have to you know i'm just uh, differentiating both this is a normal and for turner syndrome this is the karyotype and for kain filter syndrome this is the karyotype hope i'm clear and see it is a trisomy again you have an extra part right see so pain filter syndrome individuals have male genitalia internal genital ducts but testes are underdeveloped i told you feminine sexual development is not completely suppressed why because you got x extra here so having xx gives you female characters at the same time having y gives you male characters so at the same time though y is present may femaleism is not completely suppressed you can understand though y is present they still have those feminine sexual development which means they they have both right y x is not completely suppressed at the same time y is not completely active that is what the klein filter syndrome nature is okay
and you have i told these are the features of it this trisomy of 23rd but i told the x, extra x, x chromosome it's trisomy right they are positive for bar bodies so number of bar bodies is equals to number of chromosomes extra chromosomes minus one so for your understanding so let's go for the karyotyping of these things how see here you can observe um see there is an absence of x chromosome here right there, right there is an absence of x chromosome here that is why these turner syndrome though they have all the uh, female related characters they are all rudimentary right but for klein filter syndrome see what happens xx is present but you have y also due to which uh, they have all the male characters At the same time the x characters are not compressed like uh, they are not completely suppressed right they have both the characters At the same time all the characters of male and female are completely under development under developed or rudimentary so turners are all the phenotypic females but ovaries are not developed the same way this is the karyotype of the klein filter syndrome bearing the two x chromosomes such uh, clinophytic syndromes have people have males because they have y chromosome present they are phenotypically they are males okay so they have underdeveloped gonads i can say right so people affected with klein filter syndrome generally have long limbs body hair because why uh, why uh, body hair is a character of the y chromosome right so they have long limbs uh, sparse body hair and mental deficiency also so these both are sterile both the syndrome uh, whoever is under like the abnormalities of uh, these two syndromes are sterile okay they are not fertilely they are not fertile they are not sexually active so apart from this you also have two important syndromes that are patau syndrome and edward syndrome so please remember this is the trisomy of 13th chromosome and again these are autosomes and this is a trisomy of 18th chromosome just for your exam remembrance so they may ask you uh, patau syndrome is which trisomy of which chromosome edward a uh, trisomy of which chromosome number okay for your understanding purpose i have given you these examples okay so hope this class is uh, useful for you guys because these are the common abnormalities that we happen to see even uh, during the life uh, regular lifestyles also so you'll come because even the chromosomal level even the pregnancy ladies are also getting tested for their uh, chromosomal abnormalities at the earlier stage itself so so it's very important for knowing the karyotype and how it is done okay so for the further information regarding at what um, at what level you can go through it and what are the other tests regarding these cells i will attach in the um, detailed description box please go through it hope i am clear the next class i am talk to you about the important molecular genetics part where you will come across the sexual differentiation sexual inheritance and sex linked characters y linked characters and um, domination recessive and all okay thank you and have a nice day see you in the next class until then stay positive stay healthy and be kind to everyone thank you bye bye